Hey guys, here I am. It's Lanuzo here. I just wanted to show you guys how to set up Emu Flight. Um, so for the guys that uh, I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh, I want to try out Emu Flight. I haven't gave it a shot yet. I don't really know how to set it up. Uh, it seems kind of confusing." To be honest with you, it's a lot more straightforward than Beta Flight uh, with the new 4.2. What they basically did with uh, Emu Flight, as far as I'm told, is that uh, it's the old like Beta Flight 3.57. The best of that taken and made into its own thing. Um, I think it's uh, a lot easier to use, to be honest. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to dive right into it here. Let's just make sure that this thing... I actually just did this whole thing, but I realized I was streaming. And I wasn't actually recording, and it didn't really stream it anywhere. <laughs> so, epic fail on my part. But anyway, here we go... Uh, so basically you want to go to uh, emu github.com slash emu flight simple right just go there click on the emu flight configurator that's what we need to actually get the configurator itself which is this so what we're going to do is go to uh, go to releases and you want to get the emu flight configurator 032 this is what you need to uh, in order to set up on your quad I'm sure most of you guys know about this but just make sure that you get this version, okay? Um, make sure you get whatever it is. Uh, you get to get it for Linux, Windows, Mac OS. Supports everything. So it's a nice, nice that it supports everything. So just download it, install the one that you use, and uh, we'll dive right into it. Once you actually get it uh, up, um, what you can do is you can connect to the CLI type BL okay BL and uh, you're gonna get into DFU mode go to the firmware flasher and uh, choose your your target and then choose 0301 so uh, the 032 configurator it installs the 031 targets so make sure you do that hit full chip erase and we're gonna flat we're gonna load it and then we're going to flash it. I'm going to reflash it and set it up again just to show you guys uh, how, how it works. The full setup. We're doing the full setup here. So I'm just going to do it again. May as well. I mean, I did mess it all up the first one, so... So anyway, uh, yeah, the nice thing I like about Emu Flight is, for instance, on the Beta Flight uh, 4.1 and up, you need to get the VTX tables for your VTX and upload it, and some VTXs didn't work properly, and some VTXs did work properly, and it was just a big mess, to be honest with you. I mean, if you have an upgraded feature, you probably want things to be easier to use, not like extra steps to set them up, right? And uh, the reason why I kind of went to Emu Flight, I've used Emu Flight a little bit on whoops and stuff, um, because it kind of uh, worked good for the racing. But, uh, you know, for the whoop leagues and all that, but I'm not very, I mean, it might not work. It works great, to be honest. Like, I'm not a, the best pilot, so I'm not winning all these. But <laughs> but uh, what I'm doing here is showing you guys how to set it up. So, okay, we're done. It says programming successful. What I do is I unplug it and plug it back in when it do, after it does that. I mean, some people don't, but that's what I do. So I want it to reconnect properly and... Um, Right, you can go back to the welcome screen if you want. You can go to documentation. You can click here. You can join the Discord channel um, for Emu Flight, which is really helpful. Whoa, there we go. Uh, which is really helpful, actually. I have a, I'm in the Discord channel. If we connect it, we'll see here it is Emu Flight, and I'm in the Discord channel. Um, you can put your videos if you want, or if you need new general help, you can come in here and people will help you out, right? Um, but let's just connect in and uh, get it set up. So what first thing I do when I go here is I uh, change this to DShot 300. I'm using uh, reverse motors, so don't forget to do that if you get pro if you're running props out, if you're running props in. Don't worry about it because you need them to go props in. If you're running props out, click that button. It's going to give you your props out, right? 
I run this at 4K, 2K. Uh, it's just my personal preference. I mean, this is really personal preference stuff, so whatever you want to really run your PID loops at, but for me, um, I run them lower. Um, I have a serial base receiver, which is a crossfire, and uh, I'm going to call this craft uh, Lanuzo, which is my name. I only put my name because if you're flying with other people and maybe they get on your channel, they might, or they're on the wrong channel, they realize it's not their craft because they see somebody else's name. So I set that up. Um, and that's all I've really set up here. Click a save and reboot so we can save those changes. And uh, nice thing about the the Discord is everybody is kind of in here that's the dev, the developers. So if you have any features you want to see, maybe if you come in here and talk to these guys, they might actually be able to add them in, right? We might be able to add in some features, right? Um, I mean, this is a community project, so I don't see why not. Anyway, let's go back to Emu Flight and reconnect. Now we got to go to our ports tab. So basically, our ports tab is where we're going to set up our uh, smart audio and our receiver. I, I use UART 6 and 4, so I, I know I already did that. So um, if you don't know what, what you set up on your other drone, make sure that you actually go in and write it down on a piece of paper or... or, or or in a notepad or whatever, so you know what to set up on here, okay? So save and reboot. We're gonna wait again for a few seconds for it to reconnect. If you're having problems connecting at all with, uh, you know, getting something to show up up here, you can follow these little features down here. You can follow this. This kind of helps, so they got some drivers you might need. Um, you know, this is that a tool that you can use to basically for any it's basically for any type it's not just for drones the Zadig thing it's more for any type of development boards or anything you can use that to load the DFU drivers um, or even other drivers that it needs it kind of auto detects them tries to install them for you so anyway connect to that so we got our ports set up here we got our configuration done already right everything still looks good make sure it's saved because sometimes I don't know I've noticed I had to click a couple of times maybe so we got our PID tuning. So our receiver here, look, <laughs> drone's flying out of control. So what we want to do is change this to mode two, save it. Um, there we go. Now if you pick up your remote, you can actually control it. See, it's pretty neat, right? So anyway, um, then I would go to my modes and set up my arming here. So basically just hit the button on your remote. Uh, I want my fail safe. I want that on that button. All right. All right. And then I want my uh, flip over after crash. That's all I really want. All right. I'm going to save those. If you have anything like camera control you use or any of that stuff, you can set it up in here too pre-arm or whatever, but uh, paralyze, huh? Interesting. I don't know what that is, but see, there's, a, there's a bunch of cool little features in uh, so we hit our failsafe. We can see it's working up here. Failsafe's enabled, right? Perfect. And you go to your OSD. You can set up your OSD here. Um, I click NTSC because it cuts off the camera. If you don't have, if you don't know which camera you're using, most likely, if you're in North America, most likely you have an NTSC camera. If you're in Asia, most likely you have a PAL camera. Or even if you're some players of Asia, you might even have an NTSC. It's kind of a standard. So what I could, would do is just hit NTSC while I set up the, while I set up these, um, where you want your OSD to be, because otherwise you might not be able to see it. It might, if you put it too low, it might be off the screen or whatever, right? So I just like to use that and that and that and that. This is my current draw mod, mod drawn, right? And I like my current voltage of my battery. We could put my name in the middle here somewhere. Craft name. Nope, I don't want crosshairs. I want the craft name. You can use crosshairs if you want. I don't use them. 
if you want to use them, go ahead. And I put my RSSI up there. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to save that. And they said they have all these different fonts you can use too. It's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to change it here. I'm going to go to Emu Flight and I'm going to. You could change this with a custom image too. So whatever image you wanted, you could make. You could make one. Make sure that it just is basically white, black, and green. And uh, you can have a custom image start up when you boot up your quad. So, like, you know, if you want to put your own logo, you could do that. Um, so, we're going to use Emu Flight font. I'm going to upload the font. I don't know if it's already uploaded or what, but I'm just going to do it. Frig, did I click save? <laughs> I hope it clicks save. Oh, man. This is still recording. Good. It's still recording. What are we at? 10 minutes? Perfect. Because that's about all it takes to set up. Um, if you click this button <clears throat> too soon, it might not connect because it, it, it takes a couple seconds to boot up or whatever, but eventually you'll get it. Let's go to the OSD. Yes, it's saved. Perfect. So then you got your voltage and all that. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, you can. here's your black box stuff. Um, I don't really use it, but if you want to use it, go ahead. What I do after I set up my quad is I come out here, I do dump, and I save it to a file. Let's just save it, replace the file. So you have a backup. So if anything ever happens, you have a backup of it. You can just reflash it and upload. You could load it from a file right here, and it would be updated. Um, if you're coming from Betaflight, I don't recommend you use load from a file because it's not the exact same setup. <laughs> Um, actually, you know what? While I did this, I forgot to go back and set up my rates. Let's do that together right now. See, if you click it too early, it doesn't connect. You gotta wait. Just wait a few seconds. There we go. So now... PID tuning. I also just leave the PIDs bait. I leave this alone. I don't really touch that. I go here. I change my rates. Um, if you forget to do this, it's not really a big deal. I mean, you can do it in your OSD anyway. Ooh. Um, but this is what I do. This is kind of the rates I like to run. A lot of people don't like it. Some people like running low rates. Um, for racing, you might want to run a little lower rate, but for freestyle, I like faster rates. And uh, that's all I really change. The filter settings, we leave them the same. And if you notice here, all the gyro notch filters are disabled. Um, they use the PT1 D term low pass filter. I don't even know if Betaflight 2, 4.2 even has PT1 anymore. Um, I know they changed to a bi-quad or something. You can change it, but I leave mine on PT1. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Like, save it and uh, make sure you have all that set up. Um, I'm going to go back to my back here and do another dump and save. So I have my rate saved in. And that's it. That is pretty much how you set up your Emu Flight configurator with your with your with your quad on 031 with the 032 configurator. Um, if you guys have any need any other help, I mean, feel free to go leave me any uh, comments below. I'll be, I'll be happy to help. Or you can also hit up the Discord, you, the Discord um, server. Um, under the documentation, you can click on Discord and it'll bring you to the official channel where you can actually get some help too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to do more videos like this in the future. Have, have a great day and happy flying. I want to see your posts. So uh, if you hit me up on Facebook, Lanuzo FPV, just message me your videos and uh, I'll happy to watch them. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.